Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for my Cappies, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading Capricorn, I want to let you guys know that we are now open for scheduling. So if you're trying to get a private consultation, now is the time to reach out and try to book your appointment as we book rather quickly. We are now booking for March and April. So just letting you guys know out there, okay? All right, my lovelies, let's get into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month remaining of February 2021 in regards to love and romance. Capricorns, how are you doing? <clears throat> I hope things are going great. I hope you no longer feel the heaviness of responsibility and energy that we've been experiencing for the past couple of years. A lot of blessings coming you guys' way, so look up, count your blessings, all right? Okay, let's see what's going on with Capricorns in regards to love and romance. Love and romance for the month remaining of February 2021. Okay, Capricorn, let's get into your reading. Your first card here is the King of Pentacles. Capricorn, very empowered. This is you knowing exactly what it is that you want, standing your ground, being extremely confident for some of you guys getting notoriety or getting a lot of attention. Your next card here is the Ten of Swords, embracing endings. This is an ending cycle for some of you guys. For some that have been single for quite a while, singlehood is about to be over and done. For others of you that are in a long-term committed relationship, this could represent the ending cycle of something in regards to this connection. We're going to find out a little bit more. Yeah. Ace of Cups here. So, Capricorns. I'm going to get all serious and heavy on you guys right now. All right. So, we have, we have here your card. The King of uh, Pentacles, being very confident in yourself, knowing your worth, knowing exactly what it is that you want when we're talking about relationships. If you can see here, the King is holding the Pentacle, right? Almost like not in a guarded way, but more like embracing it, like showing it to the world. This is the value I bring. This is my, this is my energy. This is my value. This is the power that I hold. This is being in your own energy, Capricorn. Now, we have the Ten of Swords here, and the Ten of Swords is about an ending cycle. This is about releasing things from the past. This is karmic cycles ending. To be able to fully embrace this new beginning with the Ace of Cups. Now, for some of you guys, this could represent... Perhaps you got to the point of giving up on love, Capricorns, for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while. This is you shedding the old to be able to embrace the new. I'm hearing for some of you guys, this is almost like coming into your own Capricorn. And this does not matter, okay? They're telling me it, age does not matter. You could be 50, you could be 60. And you're just finding your power. You're just knowing your value. You're just embracing who you genuinely, authentically are. And not watering yourself anymore. Not hiding. Not trying to be quiet because you're not trying to get so much attention. You are shining, Capricorn. You are embracing this new beginning. There is love coming towards you. Now the person that's coming towards you, we have the world card. World card could represent a person that is very well traveled. This could also indicate... An ending cycle that they themselves are going through. It could be that prior to meeting you, they could have been working on self-healing or they could have been releasing some type of karmic or toxic relationship. 
We have the Eight of Cups, yeah. I definitely seen them walking away from something. With the Eight of Cups, this is a representation of walking towards, of walking away from situations that no longer serve us, going towards a new beginning, embracing uh, this unknowingness. I feel that this person that's coming towards you, Capricorn, is a person that is either very well-traveled or a person that is very highly educated, um, someone that has journeyed, has experience. Uh, this could be an individual that is a bit older than you. They could be about four to seven years older than yourself. And we have the Ten of Wands releasing burdens releasing difficulties releasing i'm hearing they're walking away from a karmic connection and you do have your 10 of swords over here so there's two tens here i feel that for for some of you guys especially those of you guys that have been single for quite a while the person that is coming towards you is going to be a person that has been experiencing almost a mirrored experience as you have this could be an experience in childhood that you guys share. This can also represent um, patterns in regards to love and romance in regards to relationships that they've experienced the same things you've experienced. So they come with this wisdom. They come with this understanding or deeper knowledge of what it is that they are, what it is that they want and what it is that they're capable of giving to you. And I feel that there is like nourishment here with the Ace of Cups. It's overflowing. There is an over feeling, overly feeling of abundance or almost like your hopes or dreams or even for some of you guys, if you feel like you're not even aware exactly of what it is that you expect from a partner. I feel that this person is definitely going to surprise you. This is a person that is really going to give you. It's almost like, okay, so what I'm hearing is they're going to be bringing to you and showing you that they are the person you've been hoping for all this time. Even though you weren't aware of what it is that you felt you needed to feel in perfect harmony when we're talking about relationships. Now, for those of you guys that are currently in a long-term committed relationship, I feel that there could have been an ending. For some of you guys, there could have been an ending with a water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I feel that there was a need to end this cycle. So it could have been like a revisiting. It could have been a breaking up, going back, breaking up, going back. Um, and there is a need to release this energy. There is a need to evolve Capricorn so that you can go into the next phase of your life embracing only new beginnings. Let me see exactly what is the energy that you need to embrace for the remaining of this month. What is the energy that Capricorn needs to embrace or embody for the remaining of this month of February 2021 in regards to love, in regards to love and romance. What I'm hearing, Capricorn, for those of you guys that are in a committed relationship, if you got into the point of, if you've got into the point of feeling like there's stagnant energy there, like they're not fulfilling you or things are not as strong and exciting as they once were, I feel that someone in this connection could have outgrown the situation. It's almost like you were putting effort or trying to fix this relationship for so long. And when you finally find some type of balance, I feel that you feel like there's lack of fulfillment here. And the reason for it is because you're forcing this connection, Capricorn. For some of you guys, you may be stuck in a situation where this person is not for you. Because there is a new person that's coming in that is going to be divinely guided to you. All right. The energies that you need to take on is the Three of Cups. 
So the Three of Cups is celebratory type of energy, a Capricorn. This is being able to wind, um, wind down. This is an energy of relaxing. This is an energy of learning to have fun again, Capricorn. That's what you need to embrace for the month of March. You need to be more social or feel or do things that are going to regenerate, um, revitalize your energy, that are going to inspire you, that are going to make you basically put yourself out there. I know we're going through uh, this pandemic, obviously. Be you know careful and smart about it. But don't be just stuck. You have to release these energies. We have two tens here. There is a need to release things that are stagnant. And the only way to do that is to move energy around. If you're stuck at home, you need to go out. If Let me give you guys a perfect example. Uh, last week, out of nowhere, uh, I think it was um, New Moon. Yeah, it was New Moon. And I was like, you know what? <clears throat> it's New Moon. I want to embrace new beginnings. And I started off by moving some certain things around my home. All of a sudden, I was stuck moving, like, redecorating everything. And there is this massive need to move energy. So it could happen in the sense of feeling like you have to, you know, redecorate something or move things around or switch them around. But what you're doing is what you're actually physically doing is you're moving momentum. You're moving energy. You're moving stagnant energy that's been stuck for, for so long. In order to be able to embrace these energies, you have to get it going. Do you see what I'm saying, Capricorn? Okay. So, yeah, that was my spiel on what I experienced last week. And everybody's like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> I was like, don't mind me. Just get the hell out of my way. <laughs> I'm moving things around. All right. Let's see what is the energy of the person that's coming towards you or the person of your interest. What is the energies that they will be embodying or embracing? Okay. Oh, we have two cards. We have the Prince of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Okay. So Nine of Swords could indicate being very much in their head, uh, a bit fearful or doubtful about this connection or feeling like, okay, so what I'm hearing is that this person that's coming towards you, I feel that they're already, either you already know who they are or this person uh, is around your circle or around people that you know. I feel that there's some type of insecurity issue that they're dealing with. It could be that they're very much in their head. It could be that they feel like you have a lot of opportunities here with the three of cups um, or feeling like they are lacking in confidence, like maybe you're not going to be interested, but they're definitely a little bit in their head, but they will be making way. They will be communicating or they will be reaching out. Uh, you will definitely know who they're speaking about uh, by March. So again, um, when this connection happens, when this movement starts to progress, try not to be very judgy, Capricorn. Give them an opportunity to show you or to surprise you, I should say. Um, because here with the Knight of Swords, I definitely feel that there is some type of uh, doubt. There is some type of feeling of lacking in confidence. And it could be because you come off very strongly, Capricorn. So just letting you guys know, try not to be so judgy. Or don't judge very harshly with your eyes, Capricorn. <laughs> All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.